everyone, welcome to the coding channel. Today is the eighth episode of our Python tutorial series for beginners. And in this episode, we are going to talk about how to build a Python program that finds the largest, next largest, and the third largest of 10 numbers input. Listen more when we come back. a little bit of a challenge okay uh, we will modify our um, largest and um, the smallest by having the uh, largest and next largest or the second largest and at the same time the third largest of 10 integers input okay and then um, we will uh, do this one later let's try so this one is a counter control repetition so meaning um, since we know how many times uh, we're going to uh, get the user input so let's try to have an input statement first okay so input statement uh for example we have number is equal to in and then input and then uh we'll have let's have enter uh number okay and then plus so enter number one number two number three for example uh as we're going to use the counter okay and then um str let's convert this one okay plus hmm, colon so enter number sorry enter number one number two number three for example okay and then uh, we will iterate 10 times, so let's have a um, while loop, counter is equal to 1. And then we'll have a while loop here. Now as you can see, I'm just trying to uh, create from scratch because um, I remember when I was a student, um, this is how I do it. Now, you know my technique, I just uh, keep on repeating it several times so that I'll... Uh, familiarize uh, you know myself and uh, using the let's say python syntax and at the same time um, while analyzing how to solve the problem okay so i hope that you will do the same so while counter is less than or equal to 10 okay so we need to repeat 10 times right so let's have let us uh, put this inside of the uh, while counter uh, while uh, loop and then before we end you will just put here the uh, counter variable or increment. We have initialization, we have condition, we have the input statement, and then the increment. Okay, next. It's about time to uh, compare. Hmm. So, but before that, since we will be using, uh, we will be displaying the largest, the second largest, and then the third largest. So, we might as well um, have a um, initialization here. Largest is equal to, for example, second largest uh, and is equal to the third largest is equal to zero. Okay. And then, so take note, we don't have any wording there. So, meaning our code is um, clean. We follow the, um, the syntax. Okay. Next. We need to compare now if a number if the first input is what is greater than larger so far which is uh we initialized to zero what are we going to do <laughs> pardon me if i'm not normally use the parentheses here because uh there's a syntax in java <laughs> okay so we are now in python right so that's it so actually you know um the best thing is if you learn a certain programming language and then when you shift for example to other programming languages uh you know it's a it's a very easy now because somehow the logic is the same uh, the only uh, difference is the uh, the syntax a little bit of syntax okay uh okay so if number for example is greater than largest what are we going to do so this time just try to analyze if 
we are uh, going to assign number two largest, what do you think will happen? Hmm. Of, of course, during the first iteration, this one is correct. Okay, because we're just talking of zero and then the first input. Let's say uh, the first input is five. So if five is greater than largest, of course it's greater than largest. So you will assign it directly to, uh, immediately to the largest. But um, think of um, another a possibility. What is the possibility? There is a possibility, okay, that when you, uh, when the um, value is greater than largest, what about the previous value of largest? Hmm. The previous value of largest could be our second largest or it could be our third largest. So meaning, before we assign the new value which is inside of the number variable to largest, we need to assign first the third, the second, uh, the previous value of second largest to the third largest. And then this, uh, the largest, the previous value of largest to the second largest. And now, before we assign the new number or the new value, new input to the largest. So let's try. So we have the third largest is equal to the second largest. Okay. The previous value of this uh, second largest. And then for the second largest, we will assign the previous value of largest. And then after that, that's the only time that we assign the new value to or the new input to the largest uh, variable. Okay, the order here or the sequence of the assignment statement here uh, is very important. Or else you will have a logic error. Okay, because this, uh, they are related to each other. Okay, next. Are we going to use L if or are we going to use else? Okay, of course, we will be using uh, L if. Why? Because we need to have another condition. And what is that condition? Okay, for example, we are now on the second um, iteration. The user have an end, uh, we're talking of zero. Uh, I mean, okay, the first input is five. And then, for example, the second input is eight. We all know that eight is greater than a five, right? So if number is greater uh, than largest, okay, if 8 is greater than the 5, yes, true. So, uh, this one is correct. What if, okay, let's talk about third input. Uh, let's say 7. The largest so far is 8. So, the second input is 7. So, the, that number is not greater than largest. But, 7 is greater than the second largest so far, which is 5. So, Meaning, we need to catch that, okay, that instance. So, how are we going to do that? If there is a possibility that that input is not greater than the largest so far, but it's greater than the second largest, so it's about time to have another condition here if number is greater than the second largest so far, right? So, if that number is greater than the second largest so far. What are we going to do before? Okay, we will be using this uh, logic again. That before we assign the number to the second largest, we will make sure that the previous value of largest uh, is, uh, we're going to assign the previous value of largest to the uh, largest, okay? Before we uh, assign the new value. Okay, so that's what I'm trying to say. And then, what about for, let's say, uh, the fourth input? The fourth input is, uh, let's say, 6. 6 is not greater than the largest so far, which is 8. And 6 is not greater than the second largest so far, which is uh, 7. But 6 is greater than the third largest so far, which is 5. Mm. So, we will have another L if here. Okay just to catch that instance, the possibility. So that's how we uh, uh, do this. So third largest, and then what are we going to do? So Python will just um, 
you know execute this um, condition or this condition is uh, true once that number is not greater than largest and not greater than the second largest but greater than the third largest so far so what are we going to do so third largest is equal to number so as you can see here um we ha we now have the the three possibilities that we assign take note we assign number to largest you assign the new value to second largest and there is you know a possibility that you assign the new uh, value to the third largest okay so that's how we do it and then after that once uh, are we done we have the third as uh, okay the second and the largest okay so we're done let's try to uh, have an output statement okay so and then we will try to put that inside of the uh what of the, the else because again python will um, read the uh, the statements inside of the else once the condition of while is already false so we have uh, for example the largest is and then uh okay largest okay. next just have to copy this one hmm. for the second largest let's talk about the second largest and for the last one we have the third largest and this one is for the third largest okay that's it and then let's try to run okay we have nine seven eight five six four two and one and for example ten and we have uh, twelve okay so the largest is twelve the second largest is ten and the third largest is nine we're correct yes we are correct that's it okay let's continue now for instance uh, we still have another um, task your program will be pre-terminated as soon as the user have entered negative one hmm. so there is an option okay you're, we're giving the, the option to the user uh, that uh, for example if uh, the user have entered negative one if the input is negative one what are we going to do so let's just insert it here if number is equal to negative one what are we going to do if it's equal to negative one okay we will we will end now so if you remember the use of a break statements so that is a very useful in this case okay let's try for example if the user have entered um, negative one as the first input so we're done we're finished okay so what about if the user have entered at least three uh, let's say 89 56 and 75 and then for the fourth number the user have entered negative one okay so process finished oh okay take note if this is the case now we still need to display the largest the second the third largest for example uh, once the user have entered negative one now in this case as you can see we don't have any output here it's because take note that using break okay uh, using break we will uh, going to break out we will going to exit from this uh, loop including the else so python will not execute the statements uh, that we put inside of the else uh, statements if we use the break okay so to prevent this uh, you know to to still have to for us to have an output so we will just uh, delete the else there okay and we will treat this um, uh, output statement as uh, outside of the while loop so th uh, this time this uh, three output statements now are not part of the while uh, loop anymore okay so so that if uh, the user have entered negative one and um, uh, for example if the user have entered 78 56 and then 45 and then 90 and then a negative one okay so we still have the output here okay that's the um, um the difference of um uh, putting all the output statements inside of the else um, statements 
and the one without the else if we are using the break um, statement okay and then the last um, task that we have is um we are going to uh, stop the current iteration once the user have entered the zero value and continue the next iteration okay so for example if the user have entered a zero okay so we meaning we will not accept um, that input so if um, number we have another here if number is equal to zero okay what are we going to do okay let's try to use the continue okay if we're going to run this if the user have entered a zero okay the uh, program will not exit okay but we'll ask the user again to enter a valid so we can use the continue in this case in our program okay if we want to um, make sure for example that the user uh, will not uh, going to enter a zero so we will not it's like having we will not accept a zero as an input so you just have to input either negative one or uh, any number other than zero okay so for example once the user have entered the um, a valid um, user um, input okay so our program will continue to the next um, number okay we'll prompt another um, number for number two okay for example 78 and then all of a sudden the user have entered a zero again okay so it will uh, ask again another okay another number another valid number for uh number three okay say 67 okay 34 23 12 uh, 98 and then uh, 76 44 and 33 for example okay so let's try we have we still have 98 as the largest we still have and also 90 as the second and 78 as the third okay but take and take note uh this uh, two uh you know has been disregarded okay that's it okay so that's how um we uh, solve this um, uh, um, problem by using the um, the while with the if with the l if okay by just uh, uh, having the largest the second and the third so if we're going to uh, actually continue this for the fourth for the fifth largest or for, let's say for example if we want to display in descending order so um, if you have noticed we will just add some uh, more of if else uh, if l if here okay by just following this uh, format so instead of uh, starting from third largest so most probably we'll start from the the tenth largest okay uh, we will assign the previous value of the ninth largest and then the ninth largest uh, we will assign the previous value of eight largest and so on that's how we um, solve that um, problem okay so if you have uh, questions regarding this um, episode you just um I um, appreciate if you drop a comment in our comment section so that I will um, can answer your questions. Or um, also we have an Instagram account. Um, uh, I already um, uh, included the link in our uh, description. So better check that out. And that's all for today. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And as always, show your love through comments and favorites. God bless and thank you for watching.